Wedding season is here, everyone. My favorite time of year. The brides are radiant and grooms are terrified. And I'm in the photo booth letting my artistic side out. My nipple rings really pop in a wedding album. And it's a great time for someone who loves love as much as I do, because this year, there are more weddings than ever. 2022 is going to be a record year. They're talking about 2.5 million weddings set to take place. The biggest number since 1984. That number is up by 600,000 since 2021. One out of every five weddings last year was rescheduled for this year, which means everything from dresses to venues to hotel rooms are in high demand. Planning to marry? Then get ready to rumble. You can kiss the romantic venues goodbye because the only one left is the octagon and you're gonna have to choke someone out for it. <laughs> and I guess that's America for you. It's easier to get a shotgun than it is to get a shotgun wedding. <laughs> but at least post-pandemic marriages are gonna be strong. After all, most of these couples have been through lockdown together they already know they can spend hours in the same room watching TV without speaking to each other until one of them falls asleep and the other one can finally masturbate in peace. You know, marriage! Of course, even if you manage to find an aisle to walk down this year, guess what? It's gonna cost you. And the cost to tie the knot? Astronomical. All of the vendors really didn't have any sort of income for almost two years. So they are really trying to make up for that lost revenue. That, coupled with supply chain issues and inflation, have sent prices soaring. Couples will spend an average of more than $24,000 on their wedding this year, up nearly $2,000 from last year. But it's not just the bride and groom. Guests should expect to spend more, too, as a record travel season boosts demand for flights, hotel rooms, and rental cars. That's Matt Tressler from Louisville, Kentucky, and this is his 10th wedding so far this summer. Weekend after weekend, he's shelling out for gifts, gas, hotels, and more. I don't want to say an exact number, but let's just say it was like four digits. I've had to buy a lot of suits for weddings. I hate to brag, I'm a professional wedding guest. I'm the wedding king. Wedding king is Yiddish for schmuck. $24,000 for a wedding? F me hard. At that price, you won't have anything left for the divorce lawyer. And thanks to the price of gas, even get, getting to a wedding costs an arm and a leg. Gas is so expensive, you can bring it as a wedding gift. And make sure you hold on to it, though. Your grandkids can sell it to a warlord for water. <laughs> so with all the logistical and financial challenges, it's no wonder that some couples are finding creative ways to save money. Weddings can cost a fortune. The national average, close to 30 grand. And in Kiera and Joel's home state of California, the average is even higher. Dress is check. So how did Kiera pull it off? She started with the dress, which cost just $47. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a dress because I had the mindset, I'm going to wear this one time for a few hours. Then she found the perfect location right off the freeway. Keyword being free. A wedding by the freeway? Genius. I've found love on the side of the road loads of times. And never once did I think to invite a photographer. And I definitely wouldn't have invited my grandmother. But even if you beat the costs and the crowds, there's one more thing you need to worry about, the COVID. One newlywed couple didn't want to reschedule their already postponed wedding. Understandable, the reception uh, oh, when no. the groom tested positive for COVID, it happened just three days before. So the bride still attended the wedding, but took this cardboard cutout <laughs> of her groom instead. The couple says it was their way of making the best of a very disappointing situation after their nuptials had already been rescheduled several times throughout the course of the pandemic. Oh. Don't worry though, the groom didn't completely miss out on all the fun and festivities. He did show up on screen in the ballroom as a surprise to his bride. Look, if you find yourself dancing with a cutout, you're certifiably insane. <laughs> and what does it say about the groom that he can be replaced by a cardboard cutout?
and nobody seems to care. And the bride is in for a rude awakening because there's no way the husband is ever going to live up to that cutout. It's well-dressed, it listens, and it has a flat stomach. It's the total package. Now, if you'll excuse me, Trevor, I've got a wedding to get to. Some asshole is getting married to a woman he doesn't even like, and those idiots have decided to make it a destination wedding. Oh, wow, Lewis, Who, who's getting married? I am. And I gotta pick up my bride at Kinko's. <laughs> Lewis Black, everyone!